Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most engine repairs will require some disassembly. Before you attempt this, make sure the engine has cooled and remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. We also recommend performing this procedure with little or no fuel in the tank. If you need to replace the recoil starter, loosen the rope guide wing nut and remove the starter rope. Use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the bolts securing the blower housing cover and starter. Lift off the assembly. Pull off the retaining ring. Note the orientation of the recoil starter, then insert a flathead screwdriver between the tabs securing the starter to help pry the component free. Reinstall or replace the recoil starter by aligning it on the cover with the starter rope facing the rear, then snap the starter into position. Align the retaining ring and snap it into place. To remove the flywheel, first use a support to prevent the flywheel from rotating. Now use a 5 16th inch socket and strike it with a mallet to help loosen the flywheel mounting nut. Unthread the nut and remove the flywheel cup. Now depress the bail arm and use a spring clamp to hold the arm in place. You can use a flywheel puller and the mallet to help loosen the flywheel. Lift off the flywheel. Remove the flywheel key as well if still intact. To remove the blower housing, detach the fuel tank from the housing and remove the dipstick tube assembly. Now unthread the screws securing the blower housing. You will need to break the breather chamber seal to be able to lift off the housing. With the housing removed, you can access components like the governor lever, the breather reed, and the engine brake. To replace the engine brake, first release the spring clamp from the bail arm. Now use pliers to detach the brake cable from the bracket. Then unhook the Z end from the brake arm. Depress the tab to release the ignition coil wire. Now unthread the screws securing the engine brake. Remove the old brake. Install the new engine brake by aligning it on the crankcase. Then thread the screws to secure. Attach the ignition coil wire to the engine brake bracket. Clean any residue from the blower housing and the edge of the breather chamber. Avoid getting any debris in the chamber. Apply some sealant to the edge of the breather chamber. 
position the blower housing and thread the screws to secure. Reinsert the dipstick tube assembly firmly into the crankcase as you clip the assembly onto the blower housing. Realign the fuel tank tabs with the slots in the housing. Reinstall the flywheel by aligning the notch in the flywheel with the slot in the crankshaft. Push the key into place. Align the flywheel cup on the flywheel. Position the washer and thread the mounting nut. Use a torque wrench to torque the nut to 60 foot-pounds. Remove the support. Remove the tension lock arm from the engine brake if applicable. Now hook the Z end of the brake cable onto the brake arm and snap the cable into place on the bracket. If you need to uninstall the carburetor, release the air filter cover by pulling it off from the top, then remove the air filter. Next, remove the screws securing the air filter housing. You will need to use two different size sockets or nut drivers to do this, 5 16th inch and 7 millimeter. Pull the housing free of the breather tube to remove. Use locking pliers to crimp the fuel line. Lift the fuel tank off of the blower housing and use pliers to release the spring clamp securing the fuel line. Detach the line from the carburetor and set the tank aside. Now detach the carburetor from both the choke and throttle linkages. Be sure to remove the O-ring and retainer from the carburetor adapter if necessary. When reinstalling the carburetor, make sure the O-ring is inserted and secured by the retainer. Now connect both the throttle and choke linkages to the carburetor and align the carburetor on the adapter. Attach the fuel line to the carburetor and secure it with the spring clamp. Reposition the fuel tank on the blower housing and remove the locking pliers. Reinstall the air filter housing by first attaching it to the breather tube. Then rethread the screws to secure. Reposition the air filter in the housing. Then realign the cover and snap it into place. Replace the blower housing cover then thread and tighten the bolts to secure. Depress the bail arm, extend the starter rope, and hook the rope on the guide. Tighten the rope guide wing nut With the engine fully reassembled, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug, refill the fuel tank, and your engine should be ready for use.